Um, what do we call those two? Do you have any trouble with parallelograms, like knowing what the formula is? You know, it's a, it's a get a rectangle and twist it across. Yeah. Guess what everyone forgets how to do? Area of a parallelogram. Now, I'm going to treat you like a formula person. Ready? First of all, the area is base and the height. But what's it mean in between those two? Time. Time. So what's the base of that one? And which, oh, by the way, which one is the base? Nine. Yeah. yeah, most people would do that. And they'd go, the base is nine and the height is seven. And there's six and three. Now, here's what worries me. I get student after student who can do that and they get to a test and they forget how to do it or get it wrong. And they go, what am I going to do? Memory cards, flashcards, revision, come back to it. If I go back too much, people get bored out of their brain. Video takes too long, people get bored. Do this, take too long, bored. Now, let's say I didn't know what that was. Have a look at this for a second. If I cut that off there, and I put all of that into there, see if I move that across there, what shape of a form? A rectangle. So a rectangle is just like a parallelogram, because we still only use the base times the height. So what do we call them for a rectangle? Don't call them base times height, we call them length and width. Or when I was a boy, I think it was length, length times breadth. So a rectangle is going to be multiplied by the two numbers. A parallelogram is going to be also multiplied by the two numbers. And a triangle is going to be multiplied by the two numbers and part of it. So let's go again. Square and rectangle, multiply the two numbers. Parallelogram, multiply the two numbers. Triangle. Multiply the two numbers in. Ah, but so I could write them down as a square is side squared, a rectangle is length times width, a parallelogram, and I'm going to write the word palm there, is the base times the height, which is the same as the length times the width. And the area of a triangle is half the height. And there's some people out there who prefer to write first based on the height and divide it by two. So there's your formula for the formula people. So what's the what's the formula for this one? Callum. Oh, I don't know. Would you even think the formula? Or would you just say the two numbers that meet in right angles are four and two, four times two is eight? Yeah. So I'm gonna write it down for you though, okay? So most people put the base times the height. You know, I know that you have no doubt in your mind which one's the base, the four or the two? Yes. Which one's the base? Yes. Or, and the height is the distance between the parallel lines. And we don't always explain that. The height is the distance, oops, between the parallel lines. And you okay why it's called the parallelogram? Everything's parallel. That pair is parallel and that pair is parallel. So it's just a 4 times 2, which is 8 and a centimetre square. So to me, parallelograms, rectangles, squares, triangles are also easy. They're all, you don't half, you don't half, you don't half, but the triangles you have to remember too. Half, where do people come unstuck? So you can draw the base and height and then half it. Yes. Just be careful for a triangle that you don't half both the numbers. You can, have, you can halve after you've multiplied them. Yep. Next one. Guess what comes next on my sheet? Um, 